So let's just finish up this tutorial by um, customi customizing the text a little bit better. So click on the generated media uh, button here on the text and let's um, can change the color here I think properties so go to properties here change the color and just drag this little point here to whatever color you like I personally like this kinda almost red almost I don't know rosy color kinda girly but whatever okay so now uh, well if you wanna make the intro look exactly like I have it where I have the this text disappearing and then the next text popping out let's do that for this text as you can see in the the intro that I made if you look at it uh, this text as it's writing it's moving forward boom it's moving like this forward I don't know why I said boom there but whatever uh, select the event pen crop right here and keep the mask whatever you've already created the mask here go to position select position make sure position is selected okay and go to go to the end of this text go to the very end right here of the timeline of the text and take this point here and make it smaller make the text well the text is gonna get bigger but um, but in here is gonna get smaller it's gonna be like this so so it's gonna go from being small to being bigger as it's typing so you can see here at the beginning it's normal size and then at the end it, it gets uh, bigger but that's we're only gonna see that once we're playing it right here so let's play it and as you can see it's getting bigger it's getting closer to the screen all right and it's kind of also going down a little bit which I, I also like that effect okay so now um, now let's right click copy this text right click here paste and create new copy okay and then uh, we're gonna go to event pen crop and we're gonna unselect mask so mask is gonna be disabled so now this text is not gonna be written written text this text is gonna be just plain text all right and now go to the beginning of this timeline here okay and um, take this point here and drag it out boom see I'm taking the corner of this right here dragging it out as big as I can so that it gets as small as possible on the screen okay and then uh, we go like I don't know like one two how many frames I don't know um, one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten I don't know we'll go like uh, Hmm. We'll see, we'll go like uh, one second. Or maybe just under one second. So at this point, uh, take this. Uh, so make sure you're at this point where it's like almost one second. And take this little point here and make it bigger. Like that. Or make it smaller rather so that, it, that the text gets bigger on the screen. Okay. And you can also change the position of this text wherever you like it. Just gonna try to center this. You can also center it right here, I think, right here. But uh, more precisely, but 
just for the purpose of this video I'm doing it like this okay so now you see um, so now it detects is extremely small at the start but very quickly it gets bigger like that so now if we go to the timeline and play it it's gonna well I'm not playing it but I'm kinda going frame by frame it's getting bigger really fast and then after that it's moving forward okay but it's moving forward too slow so I'm just gonna go back whoops wrong screen go back to event pencroft and I'm gonna take this final point where it's moving slower or where it's moving bigger to be bigger I'm gonna drag it back right here to round middle okay so now we get this so if we play this that's what happens and it's it, I don't like the fact that it's going down this time so I'm just gonna go back to this point right here boom right here and I'm gonna move it just slightly down this screen so that the text goes up a little bit okay and go back and okay now it's moving up too much kind of made a mess here like that I guess you gotta play with it and adjust it properly okay so now when it stops moving uh, Let's drag this text back to half, to about middle of what it was. And now uh, we're gonna make this effect where it gets, where it uh, kinda goes off to the side. So select event pen crop again on this text. And um, take this point right here, the final point, moving, move it back a little bit. Just like uh, half a second or a second. And then uh, go to the end with your timeline and then drag this off to the side like way way off to the side so you can't see on, on the screen okay like that all right so now what we have here is this is the point where it's in the middle and then it goes off to the side so now if we play this, it's gonna look like that, but it's it's going off to the side a little too quickly for my taste. So what I'm gonna do is take this point right here and drag it back so that it takes longer between this point and this point. So I'm gonna drag it back like twice more than what it was at least. So uh, boom it goes off to the side so now we can take this and shorten it because we have too much here because now it's gone off to the side so after it's gone off to the side and you can't see it on the screen shorten this to the point where you can see its final moment as it goes off to the screen so like that boom and the text is gone here Boom, it goes off to the screen, the side of the screen, and the text is gone. The text ends here, and now, uh, now we right click on this, copy, go here, right click, paste, create new sort, copy of source media. Boom, uh, now we go to um, event pan crop. Okay, actually no, let's just leave the event pan crop exactly the same. Yeah, let's just leave it the same. I'm gonna have the same anima animation that the other te text had. But now we're gonna go to generated media. And change this to, um, I don't know, something, another text. So like, I had a tutorial coming soon. Well, I don't know, I'm just gonna put tutorial. There we go. Okay. So now if we play this, it's gonna be exactly the same thing, but tutorial. It's gonna say tutorial. 
but you know what I don't like the fact that it takes so long to for it to get into the screen so I'm just gonna change that I'm gonna go back to this text here and go to event pan crop and um, I'm gonna drag this point right here the point where it kinda gets from smaller to bigger really fast the point where it gets bigger I'm gonna drag back uh, about like four times what it was so it's gonna be about four times faster okay so now if we play this it's gonna be really fast like boom right in your face boom tutorial okay and the tutorial I can I'm gonna also do the same thing go to event pen crop and drag this point back again about four times faster than what it was so that, that it pops in your face really fast okay so now it pops in your face boom alright so the music that I was using for this uh, intro was Cloud Battalion Vengeance kinda fits the theme okay and I kinda just um, edit it so so that this point here the the music gets louder when when the the first text disappears and the second text pops into the screen so I'm just gonna so see where it uh, on the music um, I guess if you download the track you just drag it into Sony Vegas and once you drag it into Sony Vegas you're gonna have this uh, soundtrack here and where it gets louder right here you want that point to be where this first text disappears so to do that cut this out boom cut out about the amount that uh, amount where uh, where this text disappears the track uh, the tracks uh, loudest point will line up with that but I cut out too much so I'm just gonna control Z control Z control Z control Z and I'm just gonna see where approximately I need to cut out um, let's cut out just a little bit at first then drag this uh, we're still a little bit too short so let's cut out this much so so to cut it out you you select a point on the timeline and press S so select this track make sure you have this track only selected make sure it's white so that means it's selected and press S and that will uh, on your keyboard and that will split the track and then you take the little thing and select it and delete it click delete on your keyboard so we're still a little too short so I'm just gonna do the final little bit so select the track here so it's white press S select this little part and press delete and then drag this back Okay, so I think it's uh, the loud point right here is pretty much lined up with, and you know that it's loud by how much uh, how much of this uh, pitch you see right here. It's very small volume here, and the volume here goes up. So, so let's play it. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. Um, I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna edit this into the video. This little point. Okay, so perfect. So basically we have this, it's kinda quiet, quiet, as it, as it draws the text or writes the text, and then it kinda builds up, builds up, builds up, and then boom. The text jumps out and tutorial again okay so that's how it looks and then uh, final thing is the background so I had the uh, Ryan Gosling from the movie drive in the background um, so I don't know I'm gonna use a different picture this time than the one I used I'm gonna use this one it's also from the movie drive but it's where he's like standing on his car uh, or leaning against his car. Uh -huh. 
and I'm just gonna drag out this so so basically I took this picture dr drag it into the project okay once it's in the project just drag it out like so to the point where it's uh, actually we want the picture to disappear when this text disappears the first text so drag it out to this point right here where the first text disappears boom so you get this and if you want this text to be centered again you go because it's a little bit down and then once the transition happens this text is in the middle but this text is down so it doesn't match really well so if you want it to be in the middle as well just go to event pen crop on the first text and um, and the final point here just kinda adjust it move it so go in the timeline to the final point and use this to kind of line it up in the middle okay and then exit out of that and now it should be in the middle all right so that's how it looks okay and then uh, all right so I, I think that's it for this tutorial I'm probably gonna render this and play it for you guys at the end of this tutorial so Thank you guys for watching, um, please subscribe, please like the video, please share with your friends if you enjoyed, and comment any questions that you have, and stay tuned for more videos, I'll probably be posting like a video every week or every couple weeks or so, so stay tuned, and see you guys later.